Cubs leading four to nothing. Jason Hamill has been terrific tonight. And as we mentioned, Kevin Millar, Chris Rose from Intentional Talk, MLB Network, doing their show today. They're going to sing the stretch, and Kevin Millar is with us. And uh, you actually finished your career as a Chicago Cub. I did. I was big time. I hit about 180 in 2010 spring train. Unbelievable. I popped up the short. It was a 1 0 change at this day. The last at bat I had, and I still want that pitch back. I tried to homer, and it went about 74 feet up in the air. You, said you didn't it. make the club? Yeah, last day, I had my full uni on. I had the jock strap, everything. Boom, got released. I thought I was making the club. And next thing I know, I was crying on Gary Hughes' shoulder and Jim Henry. I'm like, oh my uh, God, what do I do now? So I got my truck, drove home, and uh, yeah, that, that's a true story. That spikes on everything. I didn't yeah. know what to do. I didn't pack up. I just grabbed my keys and left. I guess sometimes you got to kind of be nudged, right? I, I, you know, everybody has a different story about when they're done. JD's story is actually great. You know, his final game was here. Yeah, it was here. Blowing yeah. out. And the story, I'll let JD tell the story here, is 2 0 on the way. Astro will charge. Right, you, know, the, uh, you know, the hive with the towers? Yeah. We're on Wacker. You guys used to stay there back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, well, we stayed there, and, and I was walking from the one tower to the other. And I looked out, and I could see the heat radiating off the street. And I was with Phillies at the time, and I pitched in the minor leagues most of the year and kind of forced their hand to call me up by being halfway decent in Triple A. And I'm walking across that looking at the heat, and it's 105 degrees that summer. And I know the wind's blowing out, and I know I'm going to get lit up, and I know they're going to release me, and I know I was done. And it, it all it all went down it just like happened. that. Yeah, just like that. And that's why he became a good broadcaster, because he predicted that he would be bad yeah. that day. That's right. Yeah, I said, I said yeah. For, Did you tell Jimmy that you and I were neighbors? Yeah, we were actually neighbors my first year in Florida, and uh, Kevin actually stored his Harley in my garage. Right. That was great. Did you ever learn how to drive a Harley? No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I one, still have a garage, but no, no hardly. One down, four up, just in case you ever do. <laughs> one down, four up. And what year was this? O two. O two. That's right. How about that Marlins team? Preston Wilson, Ryan Dempster, Kevin Millar, Cliff Floyd. Nobody could get a word in edgewise. Hey, true story. Look at that team. We lost 174 games at 162 game year. 98, 99, 2000, 2001. Lost every game we played. If you look at that club, Mike Redman, Mike Lowell. Alex Gonzalez, Luis Castillo, Derek Lee. We had Preston Wilson, Cliff Floyd, Mark Kotze, A.J. Burnett, Brad Penny, Ryan wow. Dempster. A ton of guys had great careers. Ten plus years, Felix Heredia, Al Fonseca, couldn't win a game. And that's why I always say when you sit back and you go through growing pains of cities, like because we had monster growing pains. I mean, think about it. Yep. But yep. you look at fast forward a few years and guys become a few all-stars, a couple World Series, a couple this. It's an amazing thing. Yeah, that yeah. was our team. Yeah, no question. Ultimately, some pretty good resumes came out. It's a true story. And it was amazing to sit there and look back. We laugh about it. You know, and A.J. Burnett walked in our locker room. I think he's 21 years old. Yeah, and he had uh, uh, rings. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't, you can't say it's on radio. He had jewelry. Uh, he had jewelry yes. on, yes. on his chest area as a, as a male. And I was like, <laughs> who is that kid? <laughs> and he's A.J. Burnett. He's still playing. And now I got makeup on my forehead. <laughs> he's still pitching in the show. Well, Kenny? Kevin, one of my favorite guys, and uh, so great to see you, and uh, glad for all your post-playing career success. And uh, I know you and Chris are going to sing the stretch. Rose is telling you to wrap Rose it up. Rose is saying put the earpiece in he and does. sing. Tom so. He's afraid you're going to leave him Best hanging. Best damn sports show, John Sally, Chris Rose, <laughs> NFL Network, MLB Network. What does he not work on? That's I know. His Oprah Winfrey Show. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, guys. Great to see you, brother. Jimmy, great right. story. Yeah, good to see I'm you, man. He, uh, I got released the same way yeah, you did. Yeah, we all had, <laughs> we've, all had our, we've all had our hearts broken. Uh.